From its perch high up the Nuremberg Hill overlooking Wiesbaden, the Golden Domes of the Russian Orthodox St. Elizabeth's Church can be seen from many places in the city. The church has a fascinating history involving royalty and tragedy and is one of Wiesbaden's tourist attractions. And from the church grounds there's a great view of the city itself. The church was built from 1847 to 1855 by Duke Adolf of Nassau on the occasion of the early death of his wife, the 19-year-old Russian princess Elizabeth Mikhailovna, Grand Duchess of Russia and Duchess of Nassau. She was the daughter of Michael Romanov, the younger brother of the Tsars Alexander I and Nicholas I. Adolf and the princess married in 1844, but the following year she died in childbirth, as did her newborn daughter. In his great grief, Duke Adolf decided to build a Russian Orthodox Church for her final resting place. The sarcophagus gives the little church a somber mood, which is amplified by the ornate interior of the church with its many icons of the saints, candles, and spiritual music. Various marble stone was brought from all over Europe and even from Egypt to decorate the church interior. Religious services are held here for the some 300 Russian Orthodox parishioners. Nearby St. Elizabeth is the Russian Orthodox Cemetery. After the Russian Revolution, the Civil War, and the Bolshevik takeover, many Russian exiles came to Wiesbaden during the 1920s and formed a permanent congregation. Many of them are buried here, along with the most famous is the painter Alexei Yelensky, who died in 1941 at the age of 72. This was Princess Elizabeth's temporary crypt while the church was under construction. The St. Elizabeth Russian Orthodox Church, a fascinating trip into part of Wiesbaden's colorful history. Our thanks to the Russian Orthodox Church of Berlin and Germany for their support. Videographer and editor of this production is Army Sergeant Henry Gundecker. I'm Gary Bautel.